Building Joburg on Mix with your host, Graham Alexander. So one of my guests this evening is Scott Pesce from The Roof Doctor. Scott's been in the industry a long time. He's going to give us some good advice on roofing. Scott, thanks for joining us. Graham, thanks so much for having me on your show. It's a, a pleasure to be here. And, you know, hopefully I can give a little bit of advice on, um, on uh, roofing and roof repairs and waterproofing. So I just want to take up two minutes of the, not even two minutes, one minute of the, the interview. I've been chatting to a lot of people in the past month or so about how are they doing in this lockdown, in this, this COVID crisis. And it's been pretty positive. So I'm going to ask you the same question, Scott, how's business? There's always going to be a, a market for uh, roof repairs. It's been difficult for all of us going through this. You know what? You have to be positive and you have to carry on. And it, it's been really good for us in this stage. The, the weather at the moment, while well, we're in the middle of winter and doesn't rain much, does this make sense for people to get their roof repaired? Or do they only find out it needs repairs when it starts raining? Well, well, that's the biggest thing. I mean, like with the roofing, it, it's a bit of a grudge purchase. And, you, you know, you only realize there's a problem when the rains come and your roof starts leaking. But you know what? Your roof protects everything inside your home. And the, the perfect time now is to actually get your roof sorted before the rains actually come. Scott, tell us a little bit about your your business. Where did you start? Have you been in this business your whole life? Okay, so I've, I've been in the roofing industry for 23 years. That, you know, a, a lot of people have a passion about uh, football. They have a passion about chocolates, about I motocross, <laughs> about Liverpool. I'm a big <laughs> Liverpool supporter. Hope that doesn't yeah. uh, influence us. But we all have a passion about something and my passion is roofing i've i've breathe sleep eat roofing I, there's nothing better than showing someone what their roof looks like and when i'm done what it looks like afterwards yeah. it's just it's that's one of my passions and i freaking i love it do you operate mainly in johannesburg scott uh, so, so in Kharteng, it depends on uh, certain areas. Um, we give uh, free assessments and quotes, and so it, it's it's more Joburg. We do Pretoria areas, so uh, outlying areas. You know, it'll there might be a call out fee, just depending on how far we have to travel. Yeah. There are obviously different types of roof, and some might be more complicated than others. One thinks of thatch roofing and slate roofing, flat roofs, concrete roofs. You know, there are all sorts of different types of roof. Some of them may play up more than others. Do you deal with any type of roof, including flat roofs? Look, generally, people don't like flat roofs because they can be problematic. But it depends if you maintain them. So most of the suppliers, and you need to find a decent um, supplier, they give a 10-year guarantee on flat roofs. Um, as long as you maintain it every two and a half years. And I, I understand and I get that people don't look at their roofs. I mean, no one's going to get up there because they scared it's dangerous but you need to deal with a contractor that's going to give you a maintenance contract so every two and a half years we come and maintain it and then generally you don't have a problem with a flat roof um, concrete tiles if you do it properly it will last 10 15 years but the problem is you get a lot of uh, bucky type builders you get a lot of guys out there and they just seal on top of the tiles with a membrane that you can buy in a hardware store. And, and it is a problem because maintenance all the time. So what we do is we make sure that um, all our work is done according to the manufacturer's specifications. So you've got a long-term solution. So you don't have to call me out every two years and it's done. And generally, if you do your ridges and hips, and valleys. If it's done properly, it should last 10, 15 years. I'm chatting to Scott Pesce from The Roof Doctor. Building Joburg on Mix 93.8. Brought to you by AfriSam. How does the consumer choose a roofing contractor? Graham, it's, it's very difficult because, you know, 
people can send you a quote and you don't actually know what it's about and you rely on them to give you the best advice. Um, what I would suggest is doing a bit of background on the roofing company. So make sure they've got a, a website, make sure they're on social media because it, it makes a big difference. You know, a lot of the contractors don't go onto Facebook or Instagram or whatever because there's an instant reply and if they're not happy with the service, they can go on there. But, you know, look for, ask for references, ask for previous work and you know what, if your work is good, people will refer you to, and, and, and they, they'll be welcome to sending a referral. And, it, and I think it's about feeling comfortable with the contractor you're dealing with and making sure they know what they're doing. You know, I, I don't know if I said before, but you know, if, if there's something wrong with your plumbing, you get a plumber, you don't get an electrician. If there's something wrong, uh, if, if you're not feeling well, you go to a, a doctor, you don't go to a dentist. And the same thing, if your roof's not in great condition, who do you go to? You go to a roof doctor or you go to a roof professional who knows what they're doing and specialize only in roofing because it is a specialized thing like plumbing, electrical, and, and, and often people don't know that they think i mean there's so many people out there that can just they'll tell you oh we can come in fix your roof we'll seal it we'll put membrane on and it just doesn't work go to a roofing professional that specializes in that i've had people who have because of the work i've done can you fix my ceilings and i'm like no because i don't do ceilings i only specialize in roofing and that's Try and find someone and do a little bit of homework. Everyone's struggling at the moment. You know, the money's tight. You need to, and you want to know that if you spend that money, the company that is behind doing that can actually um, honor the guarantee. Because there's people who will tell you they guarantee their work for five years and the first rains and you don't hear from them again. So just... Try and do a bit of research. It might take a little bit longer. Get a couple of quotes, but make sure you're dealing with someone you can trust. How does one go about getting a roof inspection from the roof doctor? So it's, it's, it's pretty easy. So you can either, the easiest way is to either go on our website, which is theroofdoctor.co.za. We on Facebook and Instagram at the Roof Doctor SA. Um, you can also send me a WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp's easier because often I'm up and down roofs, so I can't always uh, answer my phone because it's a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Um, but I can I can give you my uh, WhatsApp number if you want. I think a website does the trick, and you don't even have to remember www and all that stuff. Just go to Google and type roof. Before you get to the D, you'll pick up Roof Doctor. Yeah, you'll pick it up and yeah. be on all social media. And, you know, I personally come out and check the roof. And, you know, once we start the job, I'm there with the guys. Um, and I sign the, the roofs off personally because the, one of the biggest problems is the guys drop the guys off. And... You never see them again and you get the invoice for the balance. And so I make sure I, I sign off every roof to make sure that what I quoted on is what my guys have actually done. Yeah. Before I let you go, Scott, when once to, someone wants to buy a new home and obviously the roof could be a can of worms, would you charge for an inspection? Because this may not be work that you, or you, would, you would get somebody looking at buying a home. No, 100%. So I, I, I found out in the last 23 years, a lot of people sell their homes in winter. They paint the ceilings. And after the first rains, the new owners realize their roof is leaking all over the place. So what I would uh, suggest to new buyers of a home is to get us out. I come out, I do a free roof inspection, and a quote on what's needed to fix the roof. And it's happened so many times, you know, you buy a house, first rains and people phone me and their roof is in such a bad condition. And often you can't get hold of the, the, the previous owner 
or the seller and it can cost you a lot of money so i, I do free inspections quotes and okay. you know and then often you can take that cost to get the roof into a good condition of uh, the purchase price scott thank you so much for for joining us giving us a heads up on maintenance of roofs Graham, thanks for the opportunity and I hope I could uh, be of assistance to, to all the listeners out there. Building Joburg on Mix 93.8. Brought to you by AfriSam.